Hello and welcome to another episode of History with Andy Ackright. I'm Andy Ackright. Today I am one mile west of exit 52 off of I-35 in St. Charles, Iowa in Madison County, Iowa, famous for the bridges of Madison County. Now we're going to talk about why they're so famous and here we are at one of the bridges of Madison County. This bridge was built in 1870. J.P. Clark was the builder. Um, and it was over the Middle River, over the Middle River. And in 1877, I'm sorry, 1887, they wanted to expand the Middle River. Obviously, the bridge wouldn't go all the way across. So they moved it over across uh, Clanton Creek near Hanley, Iowa. So in 1887, it moved to Clanton Creek. And it stayed there until 1977 when they decided they wanted a concrete bridge there. Now the Madison County Historical Society then bought this and moved it here. It's not over a creek, but they moved it here because they wanted to keep it for posterity. 1977. Did some renovations in 1997, but this is the real deal. So like I said, this is the oldest of the five bridges. It is 50, or sorry, 81 feet long. It's unique because it has a peaked roof. Now a lot of the covered ridges have peaked roofs. And because it is lighter in weight than the others. Now there are a lot of bridges, covered bridges around the country and they are documented and most of them are on the National Registry of Historic Places because they have survived the test of time. And this one is as well. One thing you have to have in order to have a covered bridge is timber, strong timber. Very large, long, strong timber to make these bridges. Now, non-covered bridges lasted 15 to 20 years because of weather and destruction by, by uh, just natural uh, events. But these bridges, as this one is, in two years will be 150 years old. Now, the bridges of Madison County are more famous than the others because of a guy named Robert Waller. Robert Waller wrote a book and he titled it The Bridges of Madison County. The main events in that actually happen in the Roseman Covered Bridge, but he mentions all the bridges. So the bridges of Madison County are here. Now that book was the story of a woman whose uh, husband and children go off to the fair and a National Geographic photographer comes to document these bridges and an affair ensues. It went on to sell over 60 million copies and become one of the best sellers of the 20th century. In 1995, it was made into a feature film starring Clint Eastwood and Meryl Streep and she was nominated for an Academy Award. So here you have the Bridges of Madison County with a book that sold 60 million copies and then you have why they are known better than the others but here you have the Imes Bridge built 1870 St. Charles Iowa now it was also known as the King's Bridge it was known because of the land the people who owned it um, who owned the land by it they would name it after that but then when they moved it they would sometimes keep the name. So they kept the name Imes. Now this one is lighter because it has less cross structures than the others. But it has stood the test of time for 150 years. So the bridges of Madison County are not only important because what have they seen in 150 years? What history have they seen in 150 years? It's so amazing, but also because of the book by Robert Waller, The Bridges of Madison County. And here we are, Madison County, Iowa, St. Charles, Iowa, one mile off of I-35 on exit 52. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.